Hi, I'm Bill Smith, president of West Star Illumination LLC, and certified low voltage lighting technician and certified outdoor lighting designer, as designated by the Association of Outdoor Lighting Professionals, or LOLP. Today, I'm going to show you how to operate and program two of Intermatic's astronomical timers that we commonly use in the landscape lighting business and in the holiday lighting business. You have the, the uh, DT620CL and the HB800 uh, RCH. Now, these are older timers so that the numbers may vary some, but the, the programming should be the same because the, the programming for each of these are, are identical. Now the difference between, one of the main difference between these timers is that the 620 is designated for indoor use only. And so we plug these inside the transformer compartment or it's used inside the house or inside a, a garage or something. Um, the 800 is listed as being rain tight so you can mount this outside in the elements. So basically the 620 plugs into the transformer while the tra transformer will plug into the 800. Now, if your timer was set up by West Star Illuminations, it's, it's probably set up to come on at dusk or activate your lights at dusk and turn them off at midnight or dawn or whatever time you had designated. And in that case, you usually only need to override the programming using the on off button, which will be on the right hand side here and the right hand side of the, of the face of, of the 800 also. Um, when the lights are active, there'll be a LED light lit on top of the 800 uh, on the, I'm um, excuse me, on the 620 and on the 800 will be on the front panel. Um, but if you require further program, programming information, I'm going to show you how to program the timers right now. Okay, six, since the 620 and 800 um, have the same features, the same functions, and are exactly the same as far as the programming goes. We're just going to use this 620 for simplicity's sake. Now what you have on the 620, you have a display screen, you have four function buttons, an adjustment knob, you have a reset button, um, and then you have the LED on-off um, designator on top, uh, and then you have outlets on either side. Now there's a battery compartment in the back um, for your backup to maintain your, your, your programming and that can be accessed by just using your fingernail and it takes two 1.5 volt button batteries and they're in the energizer line this is being number 357 slash 303 so I guess you can look for either of those numbers um, to use uh, when you're replacing the batteries. And what you'll find on the front um, is again display screen, function buttons, adjustment knob. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reset this timer so that we're, we're dealing with a blank slate here. So the way you reset it is you're going to hold down the on off button while pressing it, depressing the reset button and holding that down for, it says, five seconds. Uh, you're going to see a CLR in the display. I like to hold it down for longer because I found that if you don't hold it down for longer, that sometimes all the information doesn't get cleared out. So I hold it down for at least 10, 10 to 15 seconds or so. Okay. Now we're back at the, we start at the default start screen, which is uh, where you set the clock. You'll see that the first number of the, the first hours will be will be flashing and to program the clock you're going to use the OK button which is the far left function button. So here it is 5.55 p.m. so you're going to use the adjustment knob to turn that to 5.55 and you have to pay attention to AM and PM. You see the AM PM um, display is down in the far right corner so we're going to turn that 5 p.m. hours. We're going to press the OK button to accept that. And 5.55, so we're going to back up to 5.55. Press OK again. It takes us to the year. Um, so the year is flashing. And so this is 2014. So we're going to move that to 14. 
press OK to accept that. And it jumps over to month. The month is flashing. It is July, so we're going to use the adjustment knob to turn that to 7. Press OK to accept. And then the date. It is the 8th. So we're going to move that around to the 8th. And press the OK button. And that autom when you when you put the date in, it automatically uh, tells you what day it is. Now it goes to daylight savings time. And it says up in the left-hand corner, it says day save and then auto is blinking so in most cases you're just want to go into auto program because most of the areas in the United States and uh, in Canada um, they recognize daylight savings time if you don't recognize daylight time, savings time you can in your area you can always change that to manual like that uh, but we're going to leave it on auto press OK to accept that now the standard, it, on a, what it says in the left, left hand, upper left hand corner is on day save month. So that's the month daylight savings time starts. March is our standard daylight savings time and week is the second week. So it'd be second week of March. If you're in a non-standard daylight savings time area, you have the option of changing that to anywhere from January through, through um, June by adjusting that knob. But we're going to accept um, March, we're going to accept the standard month. So you press OK, and now the week, the standard week is the second week in, in March. Um, but you, again, you can change that also, so that can be changed from 1 to 4 or L. L just means the, uh, the last week in, of the month, whatever that is. So we're going to accept the on daylight savings time. Now it's switched to, to off daylight save, day save month. And that's 11. And again, you can change that anywhere from July to December by using the adjustment knob. But we're going to accept November and the first week in November. We're going to accept that. And again, you have the option of changing that 1 through 4 or L for last. Okay, now it takes us to our locations. We're going to program our location. LOC is on top in the, um, in the middle of the screen. As you turn the adjustment knob, it's going to toggle through. It's going to take you through all of the United the states in the U.S. and the provinces in Canada. Or it can also you can also program Mexico. But in that case, you won't have a state or or a or a province um, flash. So we're in. So that's Mexico zero, and then those are the Canadian provinces. But we're in we're in Virginia. So we're going to adjust that to VA and press OK to accept that. Um, and then it identifies the area of the state in which you are living. And that's for center. We're in the northern part. You can designate south, southwest, southeast, east, and so forth. But we're in northern Virginia, so we're going to accept the N. And then time zone. Um, we're in the Eastern Time Zone, so we just accept that. Okay, and after you input all the information, it lets you know the dawn time. And if in your particular area, it's off by um, this number, the time is off by some some amount. You can always adjust it here, but we're just going to accept the, the dawn time. And then they also have the dusk time. You can adjust that if you want, but we're going to just accept that dusk time. So, okay. And the clock is programmed. And here it's Tuesday, so down at the bottom is where you have your, your days of the week. Um, you have your time, your PM, AM, PM in the right-hand corner. And right above the time, you have your, your mode. And right now, this is in um, manual mode. So it's not controlled by the program. Um, up in the right hand corner, um, it'll, you'll see the, the battery indicator, so that'll show you the status of your batteries. Now, it's not shown here now because I found that if you're pressing, when you press the OK uh, mode or program button, that the, um, that the battery indicator disappears for a while, but it comes back. Anyway, so your next function button is the mode button, and that just takes you through the different modes. And like I said, now you're in manual mode, but you press it, and it goes into auto. That's when it's 
controlled, your system is controlled by the programming event. And it goes at random, that just turns the lights on in a random fashion. I've never used that before. And then clock. And then clock, you have to have it in clock mode to program the clock. And you use, again, you use the OK button to program the clock. And when you press it, you know, the, the hours start to blink it. To get out of the programming mode, if you, I mean, programming the clock, you press the, the prog function button. And in, in the, exactly the opposite when you're in the programming, um, the events, and you want to get out, you press the OK button to get out. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next function button, and that's the program button. So, you hit that. And what's going to be highlighted is the first event. And you can program up to 28 separate events. Um, what we're going to try to do here today is to program the, the, we want the lights to come on at dusk every day of the week. Uh, on the weekdays, we're going to program, and program the, the lights to go off at midnight. And then on the weekends, we're going to program the, the lights to go off at, at 3 a.m. Just in case we want to hit the clubs. Okay, now, when you enter the programming mode, the program event that you're currently um, on will be flashing, and then all of the information for that, that particular event will be on that dis on the display screen. Right now, we haven't programmed anything, so there's nothing there, but to, to program event number one that's flashing, you hit the program button again to, to say, yes, I want to program this event. Oops. Okay, what happened was I pressed it twice and went back. So you can just use the adjustment knob to get back the program button. And skip is now, now blinking. As you turn the adjustment knob, it's going to um, go through the different options you have. So you can either skip the event, you can turn it on. The on is flashing in a time, so you can turn it on at a specific time. And then you turn the adjustment knob again, and it's off is blinking. You can turn it off at a specific time. And then it toggles through to, to on at dawn. So you can turn it on at dawn, and then off at dawn. And then it will go back to, oh, and excuse me, on and off at dusk. So it'll, it'll go through all those different cycles, um, and then it'll go back to skip. So what we want to do is we want to turn the lights on at dusk. Okay, so there's on and dusk. So you hit the program button again to accept that. After you do that, the days of the week will be flashing on the bottom. And as you turn the adjustment knob, it goes from every day of the week. See, every day of the week is, is, is flashing at the bottom right now. Um, you turn the adjustment knob and it, and it goes to weekdays. And you, weekends and then it'll it'll go through each individual day. So we want to program first just the weekdays. So I've turned it to the, the adjustment knob until the weekdays are, are flashing on the bottom. I press the program button. Oh no, okay. I did that wrong. So we're going I'm gonna go back. Because actually I wanted the lights to come on every day of the week at dusk. So you simply go back and one is flashing. So you want to program one at dusk and now the date is blinking again. So we're going to go back to the point where all the days of the week are flashing and then we press program. Okay, so now that goes, it takes us to the second event. And the second event, we're going to program the off time. So here's where we want to designate the off time for, for the lights during the weekday. So we want to actually program that. So it's blinking, so we hit program. And so we want to change that until we see on and time. And so we see on and a time. And we hit the program button. And then the weekdays are flashing, so that's that's what we want. So we have the we have the on at midnight 
Monday through Friday. So you take the program button to accept that. Okay, so now we're on to event number three. Now here's where we're going to program the off time for the weekend. So we're going to hit the program button to accept that yes, we want to program event number three. Let's go back to three. Okay, there we go. The program button, it says on at midnight. No, we want off at midnight. We are off at midnight. Okay, so off at a particular time. So we hit the program button. Okay, and we want to, now the days are flashing, so we want to move that to the weekend. And time, we want 3 a.m. So that's good. We hit the program button. And the minutes are flashing. Block, that's good. Okay, now it's on to event four. Now, I'm not sure I programmed event number two correctly, so I'm going to go back and just talk and just use the adjustment knob. And no, I had programmed it incorrectly. I programmed it for on at midnight. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the program button again. Okay, and that changes that to off at midnight. So I'm going to accept that. And so it's off for the weekdays at midnight. So I just use the adjustment knob to get it back to the weekdays. Hit program again. Midnight. Okay. So when you advance to the next event, you know you've completed the programming for, for that. All right. So now we're going to hit the OK button to get out of here. And we're good to go. And that's it. That's how you program Intermatic's astronomical timers. I hope you found the video helpful. Thank you for watching. And remember, always seek an AOLP professional for all of your outdoor lighting needs.